Durotrax Deepwoods, RGT Pioneer Stock Tire, J Concepts Landmine, RC4 Drive Mickey Thompson Baja Core, MST Discoverer, and generic no name 4 for 20 bucks scale tire. Today we put all of these tires onto the dry course and we're going to compare these to the previous testing we've done to see which tire reigns supreme. It's the same truck as I used months ago, same level of mods, all new sets of tires and we'll compare them to the existing ones we've got. Let's do it. We're gonna run the truck around the uh, original test course behind me here. I'm gonna do that twice for each set of tires and we'll take the best score from each of the sets and then we can add these to the data that we already have for the other 13 sets of tires we've already tested. It's gonna be a big job, let's get to it. As we've done for previous tests, we're using the 3S 700 milliamp hour LiPo. Here's a rundown of the tires we're using in the test. First of all, we have the RGT Pioneer, that, that's the EX86110. These tires aren't marked and they're on a plastic wheel. Uh, they're vented, they're directional, and they're reasonably soft, but the rubber feels really bendy. Also, as included equipment on a crawler, we have the Vanquish, the VXTs. They're 4.65, and they are from the Phoenix. The, and, and others. Now they're also a plastic wheel. They don't sound vented, but they certainly feel vented. Uh, they've got a single stage foam in them. The rubber is wearing, uh, it's slowly, uh, after lots of years, starting to, uh, I guess, soften up and bend up a bit. And I also noticed from using this when we're digging, uh, as they get softer, they're starting to conform to the rock better. So that's definitely a good thing. I've got more coming on the Vanquish soon because this little Phoenix, we've finally worked out how to make it crawl properly. Stay tuned, that's coming next week and uh, I think it's gonna be worth seeing. The other tires in this test, we have the uh, MST DC1. That is of course from the, the MST DC1, that's the uh, Discoverers. The DC1 came with uh, single piece uh, plastic wheels, not beadlocks, you had to glue them. I didn't wanna glue them at the time so I just stuck them, stuck the tires on SCX-103 foams and SCX-103 beadlock wheels, so they're plastic as well, they don't, they don't weigh much. Now, same size as those, I've been calling them in the video generics, they're, well, they're very slightly small, they're 3.9s, but they're Team Raffi scale tires, and like I said earlier, they've got a concave profile to them. They're square, and I use them on uh, various scale trucks, like on my uh, Run 80, which was one of my first videos. They look good, they tend to wear in and get better with age, I've found. Uh, this particular pair is new, the ones we've tested, and so they haven't had a chance to get better yet, but they're not bad. So they're beadlocked, and on slightly heavier wheels. So they're not vented. Now these other three are all running on the same wheel. I tried to use the same wheel for all the tests, and they're the same vented wheel for all of them as well. Now the foams I'm using for all of them, from the Mickey Thompson Baja Claws, they're the TTC, uh, to the Deepwood CR, um, that's the Durotrax, that's the C3 compound, uh, to the J Concepts Landmines, they all are using the stock foams that were provided with the tire, and they're all on the same weight wheel. I've tried to do that across my tire test wherever I can, with the exception being when it's on OEM uh, wheels and tires, I'm keeping them as they are. So the landmines aren't directional, but both the Mickey T's and the Deepwoods are. So all three of these have a nice stretchy kind of sticky rubber feel to them. Um, I, I would expect them without testing, obviously I'm talking to you over the results here, but I would expect them to do pretty well. In a comp with two people with the exact same score, you then go to time, which makes the Generic RGT Pioneer tires, my champions for today, on dry rock with a time of three minutes flat. The Mickey T's had a time of 3.29 and they both got nearly perfect scores, minus 27 out of minus 30 each. This is 19 tires. The bolded ones are the ones from this test. So you've got the Pioneers, the Mickey T Baja Claws, the Durotrax Deepwoods, the Vanquish, the J Concepts, Landmines, the Team Raffi or Generic um, Scale, and the MST Discoverer. Now these are ordered from best to worst as far as score goes, so that's this guy here. Um, 
minus 30 is the best possible score and 40 is the worst possible score. That's DNF when you get to 40. You start at zero and as you go through the course, you subtract points for every gate you clear and for every, well, for any bonus gates you clear. And then points are added for anything that goes wrong. So any reverse, any gate touch, any reposition that's required, that's all, um, that all adds to your score. So to get a minus 30 or a perfect score, nothing needs to go wrong, no reverses, it's got to be done in time, and you've got to clear all the gates and the bonus. Now in my last, this is, and this is for the dry rocks too, so in my last test, the TRX6 tires, and you'll see, I should also say on this, on this, uh, on this list you've got up on the screen now, everything that's in brackets at the end, so TRX6, SCX103, EX8610, uh, 110, TRX4, uh, and so on. These are the wheels and tires that came with these vehicles. So anything that doesn't have brackets after it, like the Mickey T Baja Claws, they were purchased separately. So these were purchased separately for this test. But anything with the brackets after it, Gen 8 V2, the CFX WS, the DC1 we just looked at, I'm testing the ones that came with the vehicles as well. This is to give us a good uh, overview of what the tyres and wheels are like that come with the vehicles and then what the tyres and wheels or what tyres and wheels could be like in the aftermarket and we're comparing. So the point of this whole comparison is not to be hugely scientific but I want to give us an idea of whether it's worth upgrading tyres. Now in the tyre series so far we found that that wasn't necessarily the case. If you look at the best performing tyres here for the dry, the TRX6 tyre and then the SCX103, the Nitto Grapplers they both achieved a perfect score on the Sendero. That was a surprise. I know the Traxxas uh, Canyon RTs and the Canyon Trails, which are down here with minus 25, we know from the TRX4 and the TRX6, both of those sets of tires are very capable in the wet and the dry. But others, like the Nitto Grapplers, which also got a, got a perfect score in the dry here, they were pretty poor on the trail and quite bad on wet which made for an interesting spread of information, interesting spread of performance. We're going to visit that uh, in the coming weeks when I get to the trail test and then the wet tire test and then I'll pull it all together in a chart so that we've got all of these together. But for today, uh, I've got another thing to show you which is a bit more boring but there's one useful thing to take from this chart. The orange line is the score and the blue line is the time. Both of these, lower is better. The reason I've shown it in this way, and you can download this in the description if you want to have a closer look, but this, this orange line you'll see is fairly linear and it's, it's in the same range until we get to the, the J Concepts landmines, which are down here with minus 14. So the very highest score on the orange line is minus 14 until then it spikes for a score of 4 and a score of 18 for both the, the Team Raffi or Generics and the um, DC1. So anything that's on this lower orange line, that's that's fine for dry rock performance. I know it goes from minus 30 to minus 14, and that is a bit of a range, but again, this is indicative. It's not intended to be a scientific test. I've only done two laps with each tire in the dry, and I've taken the best time of those two. If we really wanted to get scientific about it, it'd be a lot more effort, and I don't think that the returns would be worth the mountain of work. This has been enough work, just to give you an idea. Now, now the time, you want it to be lower. So, any anything, any tire on this low, long line here, where there's a low, uh, where there's a dip on the time, that gives you an idea of good performing tires. So we have the Traxxas Canyon RTs, Another low one here is the RGT Pioneer 4.6, which was a real surprise. And that was the fastest from our latest test. And then this one here is the Element General Grabber. So those, where, where they're close, that, that's a good indication that they're not only good performers, but they're also easy to drive with. The ones where I had to take longer, see, so take, take this, this is a good example. This one here, where the time was higher, and also this guy here, and to a lesser extent, these guys, this is the Mickey Thompson Baja Claws. They had a good score. They were minus 27. Yeah, minus 27. But the time was high. That was three and a half minutes. 
I found that these these were very grippy, but I had to take my time uh, just to get the vehicle aligned the way I wanted it. So a combination of, of high time and low score means it might be more of a technical drive. Interestingly enough, this spike here is for the uh, these guys. That's the Vanquish VFX tires and, and wheels here. They managed a reasonable score. I think it was minus 19 from memory. Yes, it was. But I had to take my time to negotiate the rocks to ensure that, it, in this case, that they wouldn't slip because they're still not as sticky as, as uh, they're nowhere near as sticky as these guys, actually. They seem quite hard, and yet they perform all right when you drive in a way that works for them. And incidentally, this thing's hanging right now off the edge of a cabinet. It's not attached. They've got plenty of grip. They just need to be driven a certain way. Okay, so to sum up, from today, the RGT Pioneer 4.6 was a real surprise. It was a, it was a short, like a short drive. They were easy to drive with, and I had three reverses. That was it, on my best lap. These are surprisingly incredible tires. Just as a side note, I'll do one more video with this machine. You'll notice the tires and wheels are back on it now. We'll check all our mods with this original wheel and tire combo and all the other little mods we've done just to see how that performs. That's coming soon. In fact, that'll be the next video that comes after this tire video. The other one from the latest, the other best performer were the Mickey Thompson Baja Claws. That's the TTC 4.75 with their stock foams on just Endura beadlock wheels, but any weighted wheels basically. They both got minus 27. They both did really well. Um, the Deepwoods also very much impressed. And my favorite feature about these guys, apart from their performance, is they've got white walls on one side, or if you mount them the other way, there's no white walls. So if you don't like the look, you can put the white walls on the inside and you wouldn't see them. I think these are quite attractive and the directional tread is quite pleasing to the eye. The Baja claws are distinct, but the profiles are different. It's a, the, um, the deep woods are rounded, so they're quite an interesting tire. Um, the landmines were the worst performing of the best ones so far. This is the green dot. It's this, they're quite sticky, and again, stop, soft foams, really soft, really stretchy compound, like really stretchy. I think these will wear pretty quick. I also think that they may perform better on a different vehicle. Remember, this entire test is done on the Sendero HD, and as we've learned, these tires, well, any tires really, how they go on different rigs seems to vary. The Gen 8 V2 tires and wheels went worse on the Gen 8 than, than they did on the Sendero, uh, and then if you swap the tires around, the Gen 8 does better. Uh, so clearly, the wheels, tires, and geometry, and center of gravity, the whole thing, the way the different rigs work, means you're gonna get differing results on different vehicles. So although the um, the Canyon RTs on the TRX-6 did really well on the Sendero, they may not do so well on other vehicles. They certainly serve the TRX-6 well, but the TRX-6 does better on um, the Proline uh, Super Swamper 4.75s on the XLs uh, with my limited testing. So even though it, you take a middle of the range tire from our Sendero test, the TRX-6 tires were number one on the Sendero, but it's actually the other way around on the TRX-6. It's, it's just funny how that works. I say this so that if you are considering, like if you've got a Sendero, these tires, this will give you a list, a good indication of how these are all gonna go on the Sendero. But if you have a different rig, keep in mind that it may not fall out the same way on a different rig. So that's worth keeping in mind. And I think now we've covered enough on this, I'm gonna get onto the trail test now where we put these all onto the Gen 8 V2 and we tow a nine kilo trailer with the digger on the back and we'll see how far we get up the hill and then we'll come back onto the rocks when it's wet with the uh, GSO2F, the G-Made Bomb TC and we'll see how these all go in the wet. I'm looking forward to that, so I'll catch you then. In the meantime, throw me a like if this was interesting and I'll catch you next time on RCTNT. Thanks for watching.